London-based company Invisibility Shield has unveiled a shield that will make you invisible. The installation, called Invisibility Shield 2.0, is made of transparent polycarbonate and thin lenses that scatter light reflected by the user and the surrounding background, creating the invisibility effect. If the product goes into mass production, it can be purchased for prices ranging from $68 to $883. According to the developers, it can be used, for example, for observing wildlife or in military applications. Invisibility Shield 2.0 is the successor to the company's original Invisibility Shield. It is reported that Invisibility Shield 2.0 is larger, lighter, stronger, more stable, and brighter than its predecessor. Moreover, it is easier to carry. The shield has the shape of a curved sheet of high-quality transparent polycarbonate, which is held in a vertical position by a frame made of the same material at the back. A series of tall and thin lenses are inserted into this sheet, each running from top to bottom. When the user stands behind the device, the lenses scatter the surrounding light reflected by their body across the entire front surface of the shield. As a result, those who look at the shield from the front see only scattered light from background, which blends perfectly with the actual background. As for practical applications, the company says that the invisibility shield has already been used to conceal participants in a Korean dating show, for playing paintball to remain unnoticed, in stage illusions, to hide small items on an office desk, and for observing wildlife. Among the drawbacks is that users cannot see clearly what is ahead through the shield, and they have to peek around it. The American startup Colonel has released a revolutionary helmet called Colonel Flow, which scans people's brains and allows to understand what is happening in their minds. The device consists of multiple modules with two lasers emitting light of different wavelengths, directed towards the brain. Special detectors capture the light reflected from the brain, and the system analyzes the time it takes to travel to and from the brain. Based on this data, scientists can recognize people's emotions at any given moment and monitor the effects of various medical drugs. Thus, in the future, doctors will be able to remotely monitor patients' intake of psychotropic drugs, for example, and track changes in their brain activity. Desdemona, also known as Desi, is a humanoid robot musician powered by artificial intelligence. Created by Hanson Robotics and using AI from SingularityNet, Desdemona is the little sister of Sophia, the world's first citizen robot. She uses artificial intelligence technology to draw from a library of great artists, poets, scientists and writers to produce spontaneous AI-generated poetry using natural language processing-oriented neural networks. Desdemona recites intergalactic poetry and sings in the Jam Galaxy Band. Not long ago, she sang on stage for the first time at the Web Summit 2023 in Rio de Janeiro, where she recited poetry of her own about the decentralized singularity. Desi, with her purple hair and despite her young age, is already a rock star. As SingularityNet's next-gen humanoid robot, Desi is on a very different trajectory. Set to disrupt the music industry through decentralized systems and blockchain technology, Desi is on a one-robot-woman mission to change the world for the better through the power of AI and the creative arts. Desi's visionary performances have earned her a legion of dedicated fans. She now embarks on her solo career as a future AI pop star inhabiting a humanoid robot body. Her aim is to become the world's first true AI celebrity. The Desi brand represents a remarkable example of the convergence between technology and the arts within the Singularity Net ecosystem. Orb Aerospace has unveiled the concept of a fully functional electric aircraft called the SJX, which represents a futuristic blend of a Star Wars-style fighter and a flying car. The electric plane is compact in size and can easily fit into a standard garage, while vertical takeoff and landing technologies eliminate the need for extensive infrastructure for its reception. In terms of technical specifications, according to the developers, the SJX has a range of 1,000 nautical miles, a maximum speed of 300 kilometers per hour, and a payload capacity of up to 225 kilograms. Due to its compact size, 25 such aircraft can be easily accommodated in a C-130 cargo plane and delivered to any point in the world within 24 hours. This level of mobility allows the SJX to be used not only as urban transport, but also during humanitarian missions or rescue operations in remote areas. Here is a robot created by the British company Engineered Arts, which can make eye contact with you, sing singing in the rain, and even guess your age. You don't need to be paranoid. Robothespian is a life-sized humanoid robot designed for human interaction in public environments. 
It is fully interactive, multilingual, and user-friendly, making it an ideal device for communication and entertainment. Robothespian's movements can be controlled using a tablet. The robot can guess people's moods and ages and send air kisses before performing a song. Currently, in its third generation, with more than six years of continuous development, Robothespian is a proven and trusted platform, trusted by national scientific centers, tourist attractions, commercial users, and academic research institutions worldwide. Robothespian is a commercial robot. It can be ordered for private shows or for interacting with visitors. The customer receives software for controlling the robot as part of the package. Watching the robot is incredibly interesting. Looking at him, you understand why comedy is considered the most complex theatrical genre. The robot flawlessly performs scenes from classical tragedies, popular action movies, and science fiction films. But laughing is not yet within its capabilities. A smile. That's what those 50 facial muscles are needed for in humans. The Crabster CR200 is a massive six-legged underwater robot capable of swimming. The robot can be lowered by a crane to approximately 200 meters below the surface, where it can walk on the seabed on six legs, each driven by 30 joints. Four people are required to control it. One manages the leg movements, the second controls the manipulators, the third monitors the locator, and the last one tracks its position and navigation. The robot weighs 600 kilograms and is equipped with a high-resolution scanning sonar, an acoustic camera, and multiple optical cameras. Its development aims to explore sunken ships in areas with strong currents, which pose a particular danger to scuba divers. In the future, there will be no humans on farms at all, as all tasks will be carried out by robots. One of them will undoubtedly be this weed destroyer with a formidable appearance. The Gus Automation Weed Stormer is a fully driven machine equipped with GPS, LiDAR, and an optical camera combined with a programmed computer map of the orchard. Due to all this, the robot moves entirely autonomously and carries out its work. After determining the path along which the robot will travel destroying weeds, it lowers the side elements equipped with brush-like devices and sprayers in the center. The herbicide is applied to the weeds through them. Moreover, Due to chemical sensors, the herbicides are applied only where necessary, without negatively affecting beneficial crops. As a result, the robot frees people from the dangerous task, performs other work, and also sprays herbicides neatly, which helps to save money. Moreover, the robotic assistant can be reconfigured for spraying other liquids. Surveying tall structures is a dangerous and labor-intensive task, requiring special training and equipment. So why not entrust it to robots? That's exactly what Swiss engineers thought when they developed the innovative autonomous drone Valero T, which can conduct surveys of tall objects using a contact method. The main feature of this UAV is its ability to tilt 90 degrees in any plane, allowing it to maneuver among structural elements and inspect various types of surfaces. Interaction with objects is carried out using a special sensor, which provides more accurate measurement results. Additionally, the drone can operate in semi-automatic mode even without GPS, enabling the exploration of objects that are inaccessible to other autonomous drones. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.